Welcome to tonight's episode of Me and Chill, where I may paint and you chill. Let me move the uh, good old microphone over here so you can hear me a little bit better. I hope that, ooh, maybe not right there. <laughs> Things situ situated. Um, I hope everyone had a pleasant Halloween and a pleasant week so far. Um, tonight's Critical Up Campaign 3, Episode 3, so hopefully you guys are stoked about that. I know I am, but in the meantime, I'm going to be working on this guy again. Um, didn't get as much as I wanted done on it, but... Hopefully we can get through the latter half of it today, get a wash on it, make it look nice and pretty, and see what we can do with it then. I'm actually going to move this, hopefully to where it's not right in front of the camera. Oh, that's still right in front of the camera. No, that's still right in front of the camera. <laughs> Ooh, it's moving the camera too. Oof. Hold on. Ah, uh, yes, mini paint and chill being technically difficult. Let's see if I can get this. Uh, just trying to get it to where it's not blaring right in my eyes. There we go, that's a little better. Focus on it. Perfect. Okay, so, I'm gonna get some of this done. I've got water, I've got tea. I'm hydrated and ready to paint. So, thanks for joining me on this adventure. Hopefully, the volume is not too loud on the music. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more. Oh, yep, and there we go. That should be good. All right, let's get restarted on this. If you're joining and you're in chat, let me know what you dressed up for as, or dressed up as for Halloween. Um, I'm always interested in that. Hmm. We're gonna start with you. Let's go. I'm definitely going to need some of the metal paints out, if not all of them. And if you joined us last night, I played some Baldur's Gate 3, which was awesome. I'm going to try and start doing that a little bit more often because it is a lot of fun. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm enjoying the new patch that just came out. So we're gonna go with some dwarf metal. But yeah, just sit back, relax, chill, enjoy the music and some painting. I appreciate you being here. If you've got any questions or just want to shoot out a question in chat, uh, feel free to. I will be here to answer your questions and assist you in any way possible. We're kind of picking up where we left off on the sky last time. 
because I want to get them done a little bit more. He's a really cool mini, or I should rather say it's a really cool mini because it is a robot. few people asking me on the YouTube channel for the VODs where this music comes from so if you're watching this and you're liking the music um, I am currently just on Epidemic Sound their royalty free uh, website you have to pay a subscription fee basically but you get music for your stream and stuff and that's where I'm going and I'm currently under the instrumental uh, beats genre so that is where this is coming from. Yeah, a lot of the stuff left on this guy is very intricate detail stuff that I don't want to screw, screw up or go over some of the base coding. I definitely still have a lot of base coding to do, but so far, so good. The only parts that I'm not excited about are the little cracks and crevs. A little hard to get to, but it's part of the mini painting experience, and that is okay. Also, I released it on Twitter, or at least put the idea out on Twitter. Um, there is a stream that I have an idea for that I will be pulling in individuals from the community to have discussions on. Um, I'm not going to put out the name just yet because I am very paranoid about naming things and I just want to make sure that it's not already taken, one, and two, that it's not going to be taken, but it's going to deal with uh, mental health and D&D &D and how the uh, TTRPGs as well, but how the two coincide and how the bridge between the two can be, you know, healthily continued. And yeah, just a discussion with individuals who are either in the mental health community or prominent in the D&D community. Kind of came off of a conversation I had with someone on Twitter. So I guess not everything is bad from that site. Probably pull in some old faces from the early stream days, you know, like six months ago. But just want to be able to, especially with the pandemic still kind of going on and a lot of things becoming virtual, just have the discussion about how you can best assist mental health at the table and you know just make sure that your players are as healthy as they can be because D&D shouldn't be something that or just board games tabletop games in general shouldn't be something that your players feel like they have to do it should just be something that they feel like they want to do so and for some people it is an escape it's a nice little break from their own reality to be in someone else's reality and just making sure that they're okay and that reality is very important as a DM. So. some point soon I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and understand that it's gonna be a little messy it's a problem I've always had with mini painting is I just 
get a little overzealous with it and try to make sure that everything's perfect when in reality it's okay if you mess up a little bit. It's not the end of the day because you can always paint over it. Like, like these. Not much I can do about them because they are so tiny, but I'm going to go over them with something else, so at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if they get a little bit messed up. And another thing on the music, I do my best to make sure that there's no vocals in it because... The vocals distract me, one, and they were distracting when we were using vocal clips when Chris was still painting with me, so. Trying to cut it down a little bit. enjoying this mini so far though. It's got a very, very nice sculpt. I think I said that last time too. And I have the unpainted version right here just so I can get some, I don't know if inspiration is the correct word for it, but just some better understanding of how it was intended to be painted. And you know, that's always nice when you have an unpainted, or sorry, pre-painted version of a mini that you're painting because then you can see how the company who's kind of cornered the market on these creatures and D&D monsters intended for them to be painted, so it's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm also just going over some of the gaps I missed last time I painted, you know, some of the undersides of pieces that I just didn't see or that didn't get, you know, enough attention or love reality is again it's not going to be perfect but it'll it'll do for what I want Trying to make sure that I keep it on screen. It's just not always the easiest thing to do. Again, some of these menus are just a little unruly and hard to get into places, which is okay in the long run, but I want to make sure that I'm getting paint everywhere that I possibly can. Hope everyone's weekend is going was going well and Halloween was awesome. I went to my first convention this past weekend, which was a whole lot of fun. Got to cosplay for the first time, and I have such a newfound respect for it. It is a very thankless job for a lot of work, but boy howdy, is it fun! little crevs making sure everything's painted might be a little bit too much paint but that's okay the wash isn't really going to show up too much on this um, and I'm okay with that because in the long run I want it to be um, a darker metal so Oop. And that's okay, because how I'm going to give it the shadow effect is highlighting it with a lighter bronze to kind of show where the light hits it in ways, because that's how metal works. I 
If I don't finish this on this stream, I may just keep it for myself to do. Um, I did get a pretty cool mini of that convention I was talking about, uh, but it's going to be more of a project that I might I might stream, but I'm going to be very intricate with it, so I might keep it to myself. But yeah, if I don't finish this on the stream, then I'll probably just finish it outside of it, but I'll make sure I post pictures of it once it's done. I just don't want to take up too much of the time doing the same thing. But this is just too good of a mini not to paint on stream. It's one of the bigger ones we've done. We did the dragons before. It's all on YouTube. The VODs are up on that one. I really enjoyed the dragons. I think I might go uh, pick up another one to do. Probably the new blue one or the green one because the green one's coming out um, in an adult version. And that's the beauty of WizKids is they've got so much stuff coming out on the horizon. And that's super exciting. A lot of stuff that's like main staple beautiful pieces that you wouldn't think to use at your table, but they're like, no, we're making them so that you can use them at your table. You know, like a $400 Tiamat mini that's the size of my cat. Yeah, at the moment I'm using the, uh, the Army War Painter set that is, or sorry, was the D&D set. Uh, they now have a Vallejo set um, that I was considering picking up as well, but I just don't have the, the funds right now. Um, and then they are actually coming out with their own like D&D line of paints, WizKids is, which is super exciting. Because, again, when you have... When you have an idea of what something should be, colors-wise, that makes it a lot easier for people like me who like torturing themselves and painting their own minis. So, but I'm also on the market for new minis. So if you have any recommendations, let me know for companies because not that WizKids is bad, I just want to open up my repertoire, get some good work in. And some other minis. I've got some ones that I might work on next time we do a mini painting stream. Some small like character minis that seem like they'd be a lot of fun to paint. God, mold lines on this are so difficult to deal with. Sometimes I wish I could have just dipped him in a metallic paint bucket and been done with it but such is life sometimes you gotta go through the pain to get to the beauty so I think that's most of the yeah that's most of the Dwergar metal that I'm doing so I'll hop on over to the darker silver that I have. I think it's mithril silver. That's the other thing about too much paint is sometimes it gums up and you lose the finer details of the, the sculpt inside of it, which is really unfortunate because this guy is gnarly. Go back over, uh, like I said, any spots that I missed prior. I painted last time any mistakes that I made. Just to make sure he looks as good as possible. And the thing is, you don't really have to spend as much time as I do on minis like this. 
um, because a lot of people, you know, don't have the time to make it look as pretty as possible. And, you know, he's not going to look incredible. He's not going to... It's not anything I go to competition with. I have a couple of minis that I would. The Silver Dragon I did, I absolutely would go to a competition with. It's just perfect. But when I put the wash on this guy, when we get to that stage, he's going to look 0 to 100 real quick. Okay, I think that's all of the... I guess I'll do these little toe pieces, or pieces down by his toes, I should say. With this darker bronze. And really, like I said, you don't have to worry about the finer details until like you're almost done with it, and you're going over it to make sure that it looks nice and pretty. But a lot of the inconsistencies you might have in the painting uh, will be covered up by the wash. Especially when you're going to do a dark wash, like the Citadel Paint Nuln Oil, which is what I use, because I love Citadel's washes. Um, nothing against anyone else's washes, I just prefer them, so. Um, but yeah. So that's going to be it for the Dwergar metal. Probably do these pieces. Um, that metal or like a gold or just cover them up with a bronze I'll probably do a bronze but yeah so now we got to work on his silver pieces and that will be my throw pardon me sorry if it's a little shaky I'm just gonna drink some tea Where we moved to is literally like two minutes from the Celestial Seasonings tea, like main warehouse and area. So sometime soon, I'm gonna have to take a trip out there to do the, they have a tea tasting tour. It just sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, and if you're watching this on YouTube or you're just joining us, um, please follow the channel. Um, it helps me out. Um, subscribe if you have the financial ability to. Um, obviously, I understand we're still in a pandemic and money is money. Five dollars can get you a meal. So if you have the ability to, consider subscribing. There are some subscriber perks. But if you can't, no biggie. I completely understand. Uh, also, if you could just, you know, Next time you're on YouTube, just go subscribe to our YouTube channel. That would be awesome. Um, keep up to date on everything that's going on there. All of our uh, videos that we do on Twitch uh, will be on YouTube, usually within a few days. I'm not super great at keeping up to date with that recently just because, oh geez, just because I've had so much going on. But usually it'll be up within a few days. I have to work on the Baldur's Gate videos tonight after this before Critical Role. Um, but yeah. also been really bad about rating people whenever we're done with streams so I'm gonna try and do that usually I try I only do it if we have more than a specific amount of viewers because it's not really 
good streaming etiquette to do it without a specific number of viewers, so if we get to that number, then I will go raid somebody. Just spread the tabletop role-playing love. part I'm gonna have to go back over with that to wear guard metal but I will not do that right now because I just want to get this base coat on <laughs> he's almost done he just has some very small details like I said before that just need some extra loving make sure that he gets it and then go back over with the finer details give him a little wash and that might be all she wrote for tonight because washes take a bit to dry and I don't just want to sit here Have you guys watch me twiddle my thumbs? Let's see if I can move this arm out of the way. And hey, if you want to, we have a donation button. I will go get myself a little stand for these guys to paint on. Feel free if you have some extra finances and you want to spread the love around. All of that will literally go into the stream, so... I actually have a new palette coming in soon. I backed it on Kickstarter like a year ago. Um, but I'm super excited about that because it's a wet palette, which means the paints won't dry out as quickly as they have been. Thanks for joining. I have been having a great night so far, um, although I'm pretty sure I'm two hours behind you, so my night's kind of just beginning. Um, I put the question out when I uh, initially set up the stream, but what would what, you go as for Halloween, or did you go anywhere for Halloween? Anywhere cool? Sorry if there's a bit of a delay, too. Sometimes I don't look over at chat as often as I should. I'm just going to have to go back over that. That's fine. Oh, that's cute. That's awesome. Yeah, I... Um, we went to a convention on uh, Halloween Day because uh, there was a convention going on. And uh, we, the household dressed up as characters from Hell of a Boss, the YouTube series by Spindlehorse Tunes and creator Vivian Medrano. And I went as Moxie and my fiance went as Millie and our roommate went as Deary, the cherub. And it was absolutely incredible. Yeah, I hope you have to have had a good weekend, and I hope that you have had a good week so far. It is Thursday, so it's almost over. I 
been just jamming at the house, going out when we can, spending time outside when we can, making sure that we're staying mentally healthy and physically healthy and all the healthies in between. some of this guy that is okay some of these little crabs are very hard to get into <laughs> oh he's so close so close yet so far away to being done a few more things I get a base coat and then I'm just gonna throw a wash on him Hell yeah, mall's always fun. We have a few up near where we live now, and we kind of frequent those and make our way to any given one on any given day. It just depends on what mood we're in. They're all just slightly different. One of our close ones that we have by us has a super target in it, so. Sometimes we hit that one up just because it's got a target. We can get this guy done soon because there are a couple more minis I want to look into painting and unfortunately I am a completionist and have to get through one thing before I can start another one although I will buy as many that I need from any store and paint through those on here or in my free time. Mall's always fun. We only had really one close by where I grew up that everyone would go hang out at if you had cool parents. Which I'd say my parents were decently cool. But my mom's house, we had two in the surrounding area that were like really, really big. One of them was attached to well not like access from the gateways but basically was attached to the airport and that one was really nice had a bunch of like foreign shops in it because a bunch of people would come in from like Europe and having a store that you could go to that carried stuff you could find in a country you're from was pretty cool. And luckily the timing kind of 
fits in perfectly to take the end of the month off for Thanksgiving, you know, because there is still a holiday in between Halloween and Christmas, as many people forget. But you got any plans for the holidays? Heading home, hanging out at home, seeing family. I had initially planned on going to see my parents because we have a family tradition where we go camping every year, but just didn't end up working out. Big family meetups are always fun. Like I said, we we go do a camping trip with the extended family, like my aunts and uncles every year, and have been for 40 years now or so. And then it used to be a Christmas trip too, but then, you know, things cost money, so that changed. But it's stayed probably the most consistent thing in my life throughout my years as a child. I'm kind of bummed I have to miss out on it. And then every July, for, in the, for 4th of July, we would go to the beach. And that's when we met like the extended, extended family, like my grandparents, brothers and sisters, and all of their large families, and my famous cousins, and. to the little tubing, which I had an idea for that I think I'm going to stick with. I just have to find the right color for it. I'm going to go with phaserous purple. Gelatinous blue, that's not what I need. So many of these. Alder purple, ghostly blue. There it is. I can go over with the... It's like a... Ooh. Well, if it would come out properly, that'd be nice. Not just the medium. There's a couple things I need to get. I need to get a paint shaker. I need to get some stands for these so I can hold them correctly. Boom, boom. Yeah, I'm gonna paint these this like gnarly, very neonish purple. And then I'm going to get like super watered down paint and go over them with that. So that way it looks like there's like stuff moving through the tubing to give it just kind of a more dynamic look. Yeah, 
there's still some stuff I'm going to have to go over, but that's okay. pretty sick beats going on right now. But yeah, seeing family is always fun as long as you have a good relationship with them. And if you don't, and seeing family is not as fun. Like most beat songs, it just ends. Also, the new Animal Crossing update came out early. You could force the update on it yesterday, so I did, and I have already bought everything I can buy because I'm a monster. But it just seems like it's going to be a lot of fun, and when the DLC comes out, I'm super excited because. I think both my fiance and I are also going to get that. And they bought their own uh, system recently. So we can play together now. Also, New Mario Party came out, which is like all of the best Mario Parties mixed into one game, which is super exciting. Not that the last one was bad, it was alright. I just missed some of the intricacies of the original games. He is starting to look pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually really enjoying this. As soon as I'm done with this, let's see what time it is. Once I get some of the details done. See, I missed some pieces on his. Probably go back over that stone block too. Need it to look better. But probably at around eight o'clock your time. Take a quick break. Pick out something else to paint while the wash is drying on this guy. To work on it. Nothing too serious, maybe like a tree or something. Because I do have some extra small pieces from a game I could work on. We're actually buying, or sorry, I should say, I already bought a game that has some pretty cool minis in it that I will probably paint on stream. Um, but it has to get here first. 
I think the thing I saw was, oops, just the bottom of his foot. I think I needed to paint a little bit. Yeah, there was one thing I saw that needed paint. underneath work I don't have to do a lot later oh I see I missed some of the purple stuff and that's important because that's his inner workings but trying to remember to give myself some break time in between doing things because streaming for a consistent amount of time is not not easy. I can see why people do it as a as a job, but I do it because it's fun and I like sharing stories and creativity with the world around me. Hey. What are we on this earth for if not to spread creativity and joy? seeing something was out of place or wonky. I just don't remember where I saw it. Oh, it wasn't silver. It was this Dwergar metal. Right on this arm piece. Goodness, so shaky. Having shaky hands in painting is not ideal. <laughs> but we work with what we got. He's looking pretty cool if I do say so myself. Sometimes you can't get the super subtle intricacies, and that's okay. Because again, that wash step will make it just look a million times better for no reason. I mean, there is a reason for it, but it is definitely the savior of most people's painting lives. No, it is mine. 
back over to that. Get, just get some small work in here. Well, that kind of just went over everything that I just did. That's okay. It's also why it helps to have paint brushes that aren't messed up. I don't remember where it was, but I remember seeing it and going, oh, I need to paint over that. I can't find it. It happens so often. Definitely some of the more detail work that I was looking at that needed to be. That's what it was. I was looking at this piece down here that I just completely missed. The unfortunate thing about base cutting sometimes is it just. You go through and you're like, man, I did it! And then you look back at it and there's just white everywhere. Some of it I might just leave to the wash to get done, but other of it, just want to make sure that it looks, you know, semi-decent. the other paints on your palette just completely screw up the mini all right I think we're gonna go back over his stone thing but I'm gonna take a quick break real quick just to stretch and um, stand up so I'll be right back don't go anywhere Alrighty, we're back. Thanks for being patient and waiting. I just reminded myself the past few times that we've been streaming that it is very important to make sure that I take breaks from what I'm doing. I'm also going to skip this song. Um, making sure that I take breaks whilst 
streaming because it is uber important to keeping my mental acuity and stability up. So, all right, so now what I'm doing is I'm gonna go over these little pieces and just a regular bronze. Kind of just giving it that accent before I do the wash on it. This is a little wet, so let's see if I can spread out that paint. And if it gets in those little cracks too, it's not that bad. Also, sorry, there's such a big splint paint splotch for such a small amount of painting. These droppers are not the best at consistently giving me a flow of paint, and sometimes it'll be like, oh, here's a little droop. Oh my god, here's all the paint. Um, so. If you ever see splotches like that on this uh, palette, which is pretty gnarly. I've been painting on this palette since I first started painting minis, which was like almost three years ago. So it probably is due for cleaning, but like I said, I'm getting a new palette, so. It's a palette that I backed on Kickstarter. I don't have a wet palette and well, that's not true. I do. My Chris made me one, but I have one from a company who's uh, had a Kickstarter, and it should be coming within the next couple months. It's actually a couple Kickstarters that I've backed recently. I backed the tarot deck that Wormwood released uh, because it looks absolutely incredible, and. Uh, it's all different artists, so it's like a conglomerate deck, which I kind of like. Uh, but yeah, the the art on it is just gorgeous. Um, and it wasn't too expensive, so I decided to put it on there. The one that I did drop some money on was uh, the individuals who basically... One of the individuals who basically helped create the Dragonlance series uh, has a 5e campaign module coming out and I dropped some money on that but money that I had as my job has started back up but or sorry I have a job again I should say because the job that I had didn't start back up I just got a new job but yeah I'm actually painting on right now with something buffering my paint from the surface of it is the uh, wormwood table that we did an unboxing stream of and building stream and a bunch of people have been like you know you didn't need to use a hammer on it and I was like yeah I know and I was worried that I was needing to but it literally was just not coming together so super cool but it's awesome i'm super excited uh i have some people in colorado who are going to be starting a new campaign with me as the dm and i literally could not be more stoked because i finally get to have players at the table again which i mean i had players at the table for my campaign that i'm doing now but only a few of them So I'm going to go back over his uh, hammer thing. It's primer. It's green. That's okay. For the stonework underneath, I think I'm also just going to do a gray. Mixed, probably mixed with the underdark indigo. But yeah. Yeah, 
some of these brushes might need to get replaced soon because they are getting a little wonky. The bristles are just not standing right. But that's okay. I got a local game shop that sells paints and a specific Warhammer shop that sells Warhammer stuff. So, And that's some of the brands that I use, like I said before, I use uh, a lot of the Citadel washes just because I like their consistency, I like the way that they paint, and really, it's personal preference when it comes to painting things. Probably shouldn't have my tea so close to the paint water, but oh well. If I die, I die. Cracking blue. I did back another tarot deck, uh, but it's not an actual tarot deck. They were like, hey, just so you know, this isn't an actual tarot deck. It's just something you can use in your game to look cool. And it does look cool. I just kind of wish that it also could read as a tarot deck. And Goblin, if you're still watching this, uh, I know that Kelly is super into tarot decks. So, Hanukkah present, since Hanukkah's at the end of the month. Christmas present, since Christmas is next month. Oh, I won't mention anything. I talked to them for the first time in like two months a couple of days ago on uh, the Table Troop Discord. Speaking of, follow us on our socials. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, actually, funny enough, I need to just stop around real quick. I have a pagan catch tarot deck that's like is a deck that my uh, my ex gave me, or rather had, and I just kind of took. Um, that's like one of my favorite decks. It reads so well, and it is like having a fourth cat. Oh, I would absolutely love to, Toby. Thank you. I am Wheeler, if you didn't already know. But yeah. My, uh, my D&D party still hasn't sent me their wish list. I sent them a message on our group chat and I was like, Hey, tell me what you want for Christmas, you fiends. Because I like spoiling my D&D groups. Especially when I'm DMing for. And I think it's also fun to play Secret Santa with your best friends. So.
once the base is done, I'm not going to wash the base with black. Every time I've done that, it just does not look good. I'm going to try Earthshade this time, you know, since it's Earth. That probably should have made more sense to me when I was painting more frequently, but... to find a way to hold this so I don't get paint that is not the color that it needs to be on places that it doesn't need to be. Hey. finally just wash this thing and go pick out something else to paint for a little bit. I have an Afridi that I'm prob I'll probably work on next on stream. Cause we did the we did the gin that one stream and I loved that. Chris did an amazing job and I really enjoyed the one that I got to work on. So one thing I kind of miss is being able to paint with friends. Ooh, so shaky. I have to get him on here via Zoom sometime soon. course is my fault because I was the one who moved but still all right I'm gonna let that dry for a second just pick up any stray pieces without my hands touching it so I can actually get it done and then really all that's left is washing and detailing so I may do the detailing off off screen depending on how long it takes me to get the, the wash on, but I'm going to take Earthshade and Nolan Oil. Spasm. I mean, it did, but <laughs> besides the point. So, really, I should never draw directly from the, uh, the pot for this, but again, I'm a fiend and I can do what I want. is not working with me right now. Let's see if I can get it to come on. May have to use the other one. Yeah, this one is being much kinder to me right now. I'm gonna wet it just a, whoop, wet it just a little bit. Any residual previous washes out of it. Alright. 
And then all you really want to do is slosh it on there. Get it everywhere. Just absolutely everywhere. Make sure it gets those really nice details on the the mini. Maybe I shouldn't call it a mini. I should call it a big boy. But yeah, just make sure it's getting all of those cracks and crevices. And making it just look absolutely that was a lot. In fact so much so that it dripped like all over the place. Drip some of that up. I guess it also does help when, you know, you're not painting on a slick piece of mini. But yeah, I'm literally just going to fill in his gaps and pieces with this wash. Give him some shadows. some finer details and then he should be good to go. This is going to be a little hard to see some of the details on the darker pieces especially with the normal oil but that's what the highlighting is for. Tripped again. Too much paint, too much, too much. And really all I'm trying to have him is tabletop ready, so ooh, yeah, ooh, ooh, lots of lots of drippage, hold on. Like lots and lots of drippage. To go over that and just pick some of it up. Jeez, yeah, he, I put a little bit too much on him. That's okay. He'll just be a super shadowy, shady boy. With some dark splotches. Just want to make sure when you're washing you don't put any bubbles into it because then it'll dry very awkwardly. But again, that's also why you don't pull in the pot. Then it will pull out so much of the liquid and drip onto your mini. And really all this is doing is giving it just kind of a layer to where it shows the shadows a lot more without you having to do too much of the work.
In the end, it'll look really cool. You'll see after he's done drying a bit. Too. Not too much, but just enough. Kind of fill in the small bits that I missed. Yeah, he's already looking a little better. Which is awesome. He definitely darkened up quite a bit, though. making sure I got all the pieces I wanted to get, everything that you know, is visible, got some of this on it. The way the shadows don't look inconsistent. Yeah, I think we're good with this one. And then what I'll do is I'll just push this in here, try to get wash out as best as I can. doing is giving it just another layer of color especially this one because it's more of an earthy shade it's throwing some brown in there which kind of brings a bit more of a realistic look to the stone rather than just being so opaque and clean Really didn't, don't need to do too much with that. And then just let him sit for a second. Oh, it looks so cool. It's crazy what a wash will do to many that you're not liking. It's not that I don't like them, just not exactly up to snuff with what I've usually been doing, but you know, such is life sometimes. All right, I'll let that sit for a few minutes. Let it kind of really soak it in and dry. Chris says usually give it 40 minutes, but I mean, I've noticed that my washes have been drying a lot quicker, so I'll probably get the other paints that I'm gonna be using out. with some black over it. It'll probably make it look really nice. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Um, 
I know that you're following the channel, so if anyone out there isn't, feel free to. If you're financially able, subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. Um, follow us on our socials. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything that's going on. I tend to do a lot of stuff on Twitter, but I am going to get the TikTok uh, up and rolling again, so be sure to be on the lookout for that stuff. Um, if you have a Twitch subscription available, uh, you do have to renew every month, but I would appreciate it if you used it here. Um, we'll have more things for subscribers in the coming months as I kind of get underway with starting to actually do some stuff with it, but we do have some stuff that's already available, so I appreciate anyone who's here and hanging out and really just waiting for this wash to dry and then finer details and then Minnie's done. Glue it on the base, throw it on my table, and scare the hell out of my players. Also, super fun. We're having friends come into town, which I'm super excited about. Um, yeah. Been out here for three months now. It's going to be nice to have some people we haven't seen in a while. Yeah. Oh, man. The Nuln oil really kind of just, like, matted up the, the Dwergar metal and makes it look gnarly. Looks so cool. I might not even need to do much highlighting on it. I mean, I'm going to, but might not need to do as much as I thought. Gives it like this weird non-bronze finish. I really like it. Yeah, this is the pre-painted one that came out in the set Snowbound. And I was really happy that I got it because I knew that I'd be painting that one. But now I've got two, so. I'll actually... I don't have it at the moment, and that's fine. Um, this is epoxy. You don't really need to go this hard when you, oh, thank you, when you put your minis on your base, but, you know, like I said, I'm a little extra. Really, all this is going to do is give it just a more solidified on the base, so. Just gonna let that dry a little bit longer. If you have any questions, let me know. I love talking, if you can't tell. I feel like you have to if you're a streamer. So. making sure I can see the paints from the top. That's not just the gray, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna take silver though, because I can't always see when I'm doing things, so. You're having a good night. Hope you're enjoying. Just chilling out. I'm gonna get some water real quick. <laughs> yeah. 
my back's been hurt, hurting a lot recently. I don't know if it's just how I'm sleeping or what it is, but it's really screwing up. Oh, my back, it always pops right in the same place. So maybe the epoxy isn't going to stick very well. <laughs> the other thing a wash does is it gives an extra layer kind of in between the paint and... Yeah, I'll probably re-glue him down. When the time comes. He looks pretty cool though. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah. So I'll do some highlights on some pieces and then I'll post some pictures of it. When the time comes. Probably give it till 40 my time 840 your time in the meantime I will get I'm actually not going to highlight any of the Duergar metal I don't think I need to but I am going to do some of the silver bits and I'm going to do that idea I had with the phaserus that's gross So my plan was to get it like super watered down, like I said. Not so much that like the paint is breaking apart and not sticking together, but enough to where like it's wet and it won't draw across. I think I've got a pretty good consistency with it right now. So let me see some of those pieces. So like the plan was to really just run it across. It's not really sticking very well, so. But just you know, run it lightly across so you can still see the inside and it just looked like there was stuff running through it. Really, I think dry brushing would be better for this, but oh well. I'm already committed to the bit now. It'd be really funny if the one that works is the one that nobody's gonna see very well. I 
came across. So the last bit is just getting some highlights on and then getting around the base. helps and then having a brush that's a little dry coating it with some paint and then just literally getting most of that paint off that might be a little bit too much paint off doing that and then finding the places where the light you know is going to catch it so like tip tops of piece specific pieces Just giving them that little like extra shine. That's not the paint that you want. The blade, you know. You want to make sure you don't have too much on there, but you know, the edge of the blade is a good place to start. And really all it does is bring pop out on the piece that you're painting. And usually it'll catch edges really nicely. But sometimes it doesn't as well, and that's okay. Yeah, like these pieces really hitting up the the top of this. I'm just kind of lightly brushing some. Of that fresher silver on there to kind of bring out the elements that maybe got lost in the wash. extra gusto with these little pieces right here going over them really just kind of brings them out a little bit more
might do some light bronze on some of the pieces. You can see a little bit more. So I take back what I said. Do a little bit of dry brush work on. dry brush correctly it brings out just this beautifully subtle nuance that adds just an extra layer of flavor to the wash that you did if you do it right it looks absolutely brilliant and gives it really that just nice metallic look that you get with a lot of things brings it out to a new level. just want to get the face on this just kind of bring out some of the small details of the face bring out a little bit more of the details maybe as a whole and it gives it a nice little like aged look too so yeah I might go over it Pieces lightly brushing on it. Not too much. And really, what it's doing truthfully is just adding a little bit more of that metal sparkle back in on it which kind of like I said just brings out some of the shadows a little bit more which is really nice especially in a mini like this I'm glad that I changed my mind because it looks so good with just a small amount of bronze on there do it down here a little bit it really brings out smaller pieces 
And again, it's not perfect, but it is pretty. back out again. Make sure I'm not getting any wash in there. I'm getting paint all over my hands though. <laughs> and you know what? It actually might work out perfectly. We might be done with this right at the time when I'm going to be done. So look at that. Sometimes things just end up working out. Really getting again. It's it, it's not perfect. There are definitely inconsistencies in some of the the painting, and in the long run, that is okay with me. Especially these little pieces at the bottom. I really look bad. That's just gonna look so cool. It's like old Centurion armor. Space like that. Just see what else I could add to him. No, I think he looks pretty good. Oh man, yeah, I'm really glad I decided to go over him. He looks phenomenal. Not to toot my own horn, but you know, I did spend like four hours on this mini, so I can do it a little bit. Actually, I might need some more of that silver. He's done. It's so cool. It started out as not my favorite. It's turned into quite a good, good mini. He's definitely got some issues, but you know, table ready, absolutely. Maybe from the top down, he looks just so cool, even from the front. So, all right, put these away. Put all my brushes back inside the Oh, hello, thank you. Uh, can you place it over there for just a second? Yeah, that's perfect. All right, well. 
thank you for joining me tonight as I painted this beautiful boy. Um, be on the lookout for streams coming up. Uh, gonna take a break next week from painting and probably pick this up again uh, the week after. Kind of get back on the same schedule that we had. My place in Baldur's Gate next week, we'll see. Um, if you haven't been there for some of it, it's we're getting into the kind of meat and bones of the story. So um, be sure to be on the lookout for that. Um, I have an idea for a stream. I should have more details finalized this weekend, um, but we're probably gonna do that on a weekly basis. Um, still don't have a date set for it yet, but it should be fun. But again, thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Follow the channel if you haven't already. Follow us on our socials. Join our Discord. We're kind of quiet there right now, but I'd love to have people talking. I'd love to be a part of it. Um, follow me on Twitter, uh, at Triforce of Courage, T-R-I, number four, uh, C-E of Courage, how it would be spelled. Um, and yeah, thanks for joining tonight. Hope you have a wonderful night, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>